Hi, I'm Mark, and I collect things. Sometimes I even play things, and I'm always here trying to avoid the gaze of the Eye of Sauron. Today we're going to be opening a Magic the Gathering Lord of the Rings gift bundle. My pre-order from Amazon finally shipped. I was one of the lucky people that got one of the pre-orders in at $48 a gift bundle. This is an extremely good price for the contents you get. You can get eight set boosters, four alternate art traditional foil borderless cards, the same ones that you get in the regular bundle, actually. A special spin down counter that's exclusive to the gift bundle, a box that's exclusive to the gift bundle, and a collector booster. Now, we of course cannot find one of one serialized one ring because that has already been pulled, but there are still a lot of really cool cards that we can get out of this bundle. Let's go ahead and get into it. The box is really nice, it has a really cool foil effect. I always hate opening these really nice looking magic gift bundles. Some of the exterior art on them is really good. And so here is the exclusive foil box. I love picking up these gift bundles from Magic. Things like the Eldraine bundle. They're fun items to open and have some pretty cool collectibles usually. Alright, so the cardboard spacer has some tokens and dividers that you can punch out. Very cool. Here's a spin down die. 20 sided die that is exclusive to this gift box. This is a beautiful die. It's actually semi-transparent. It looks like kind of an amber, but a little bit more red tinted. And this is different than the one that you get in the regular bundle. Very cool. I'm definitely going to be using this at my next tabletop gaming session. All right, and then for the packs, you have a land bundle, our promos and foil lands, the collector booster, and this could potentially have some big cards in it, and then eight of the set boosters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll take a quick look at the lands. I'm pretty sure they are all just normal basic lands, none of the full art map lands. We'll look real quick though, and yes, they are all just the basic lands that are available in the set. And then some rules cards. And this is where our promo cards and foil lands should be. So here are the four promo cards that are in every bundle, gift or regular. Frodo, Sauron's Bane. Samwise, the Stout-Hearted. Gollum, Patient Plotter. The foiling on the eyes is a nice touch. Looks pretty creepy. And then the One Ring, the Mythic. So this card has been doing very well in the aftermarket, even though there are quite a few copies printed. I think a lot of people are including them in their commander decks and probably a lot of collectors like me who don't necessarily play a lot of magic but are just interested in having one of the cards are probably going to go after it to pick up for their collection and then we should have a bunch of foil lands of just the regular lands from the set same as the other pack but in traditional rainbow foil All right on to the set boosters i'm curious if these are printed in the u.s or not and yes they are printed in the u.s so we should have the commons on top and the rares at the back. So this is set booster number one out of eight. We'll do the collector booster at the end. So on the top is the art card. And that is beautiful artwork. I really like these art cards. Let's see what this one is. Valley of Gorgoroth, number 80 of 81. Basic Land Mountain. Woe's Pathfinder, Protector of Gondor, these are all commons here on top. Errand Rider of Gondor, Stalwarts of Osgiliath, Rosie Cotton of South Lane, Uncommon, Peregrine Took, Mariadoc Brandybuck, Uncommon, Bilbo Retired Burglar, Uncommon, it's a fun card. And we have a Legolas Counter of Kills Showcase, Uncommon. Dawn of a New Age Mythic, so we already pulled a Mythic. Is not foil, just a regular mythic. Rally at the Hornburg, common is our foil. Then we have a food token. All right, pack number two. So for our art card, Bilbo's ring. And we got one of the full art map lands. This is a non-foil. I like these a lot too. I'd really like to get a complete set of these in both regular and foil. Kind of surprised they didn't make this a secret layer. 
Wizard's Rockets common, Int's Fury common, Great Hall of the Citadel common, Gimli's Axe common equipment, Gimli's Fury common, Stu Laconi's uncommon, Shire Sheriff uncommon, Butterbur Bree Innkeeper uncommon, Lash of the Balrog this is a full art common, very cool. And then Flowering of the White Tree is our rare. The foil in the pack is Rise of the Witch King, uncommon. And then an Orc Army token. All right, pack number three. Looks like we've got the Witch King possibly as our art card. Witch King, Bringer of Ruin. Got another of the map lands, the mountain this time. Cast into the Fire Common, Smite the Deathless Common, Battle Scarred Goblin Common, Troll of Khazad Doom Common, Lorian Revealed Common, Langevel Horizon Witness Uncommon, Meldor Swift Savior Uncommon, Gwaihir the Windlord Uncommon, Gimli Counter of Kills Showcase Uncommon, Scroll of Isildur Rare, and a Mushroom Watchdogs as our foil card Common. And we got a list card, a rare Pandemonium. Very off-centered, but pretty cool to get a rare list card. You can tell it's from the list because it's got a different set symbol. And then on the bottom left, you have the Magic Planeswalker icon. So it is a reprint. All right, pack number four. Looks like we've got an Int as the art card. Generous Int. Got a foil map land, Swamp. Deceive the Messenger, common. Treason of Isengard, common. Swarming of Moria, common. War Beasts of Gorgoroth, common. Quite here, the Windlord, uncommon. Stern Scolding, uncommon. Lost to Legend, uncommon. You cannot pass, uncommon. Elrond, Lord of Rivendell, Showcase Uncommon. Display of Power, Rare. And our foil is a common Hobbit Sting. Then a Magic Minigame, Winchester Draft. You look at both sides in case you want to freeze the video and see what the rules are for this Magic Minigame. Pack number five. Here's our art card. Field of Ruin. I'd like to see one of the gold foil stamp signature ones. Basic land on top. Markwood Spider common. Markwood Bats common. Athelian Kingfisher common. Dunlin Creebane common. Grishnak Brash Instigator uncommon. Grand the Gatebreaker uncommon artifact vehicle. Goblin Fire Leaper uncommon. Fear Fire Foes, Uncommon. Then Gothmog, Morgul Lieutenant, Uncommon. Full art on this one. Goldberry, River Daughter, Rare. Our foil is Celeborn the Wise. And then another Orc Army token. All right, pack number six of the set boosters. What a beautiful art card. I assume it's Galadriel. Let's see, uh, Galadriel Gift Giver. Another map land, island, regular, not foil. Slip on the ring, common. Birthday escape, common. Arwen's gift, common. Fifth lane, knots, common. Arwen Undomiel, uncommon. Celeborn the Wise again, uncommon. Mirror of Galadriel, uncommon. Legolas, counter of kills, uncommon. And Oliphant, common. Sauron, the Necromancer, rare. Take a closer look of the artwork real quick. And then the text on the card. Our foil is Enraged Hjorn, common. Then another Orc Army token. All right, set booster number seven. Another beautiful artwork card. That is fantastic art. Let's see, Enderreal, Flame of the West. The Foil Forest Map Land. 
Got a Shire Scarecrow, Revive the Shire, Brandywine Farmer, Took Reaper Common, Grima Warm Tongue, Uncommon, Iorth of the Healing House, Uncommon, Yomer of the Ritter Mark, Uncommon, Urkenbrand Lord of Westfold, Uncommon, The Grey Havens, Full Art, Uncommon, Shelob Child of Ungoliant, Rare, Legendary Creature, Nasty End, Common is our foil. Then we got another list card, Shatterstorm, Uncommon. All right, last set booster pack, and then we'll open up the collector booster. And there's a gold foil signature art card of Frodo Baggins. Nice to pull one of those gold signature stamped cards. Basic Land Swamp, Mirkwood Spider Common, Mirkwood Bats Common, Athelian Kingfisher Common, this seems familiar. Right here, the Windlord Uncommon, Stern Scolding Uncommon, You Cannot Pass Uncommon, Lost to Legend Uncommon, Shire Sheriff Uncommon, a Samwise Gamgee Rare Showcase, Press the Enemy Rare, Mithril Coat Foil Rare, very cool, so we got a triple rare pack, one of them being a foil. And finally, a food token. All right, and now the big pack, the collector booster. Now, we won't be able to find that serialized one of one ring. Of course, that's already been pulled, but there's a chance we could find one of the other serialized elven rings. In the back, we've got an orc army foil token. Fire of Orthanc common. Eastmark Cavalier common. Dunlin Creebane common. Chance Met Elves common, Gorbag of Minas Morgul uncommon foil, Goblin Fire Leaper uncommon foil, a Mountain foil map land, The Ring Goes South rare foil, Forge Anew extended rare, Sardan the Shipwright extended rare, Gandalf Friend of the Shire showcase uncommon, Mines of Moria rare, a cool looking card, Yomer Marshal of Rohan rare, Lash of the Balrog, Foil Common. Elrond, Master of Healing, Borderless Rare, Foil. And finally, the Food Token. So to recap, here are some of the pulls, or just the cards that I thought were pretty cool. We got two cards from the list, an Uncommon and a Rare, Pandemonium. Sauron the Necromancer, Regular Rare, just thought it was kind of a cool looking card. A couple Foil Rares, Mithril Coat. Elrond, Master of Healing, Borderless. Got one Regular Mythic, Dawn of a New Age. Then, of course, the guaranteed mythic of the One Ring that is in every bundle. Let me know down in the comments what you think of these Lord of the Rings Magic the Gathering cards. And if you've been collecting any yourself, if you've been opening any packs, let me know what you've pulled. If you've enjoyed this video and like to see more collectible and trading card related content, I encourage you to consider liking and subscribing. That would help out my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.